All right, you waited, now here it is. Looking really good. All right, it's wow. awesome. So we got throttle bodies installed. We got air cleaners on here. Yeah, new, um, new intake manifold. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah. All right, so we just lifted up the charger. Mike here is gonna show us what we did underneath. We got a new fuel tank with a uh, built-in uh, system for our fuel pump and also a uh, new fuel sender for the gas gauge. And it also comes with a check valve rollover valve. So the tank fits just like original. Uh, nice straps hold it in. Filler neck goes in the, in the uh, driver's side. Filled up great. And up here we got uh, all the braided steel lines coming out of our fuel pump. And the wiring going in. And they follow all the way down the car along the pinch rail. We got the fuel filter right here, tucked away out of harm's way. Over here we got the oxygen sensor uh, flange and uh, welded in place so it shouldn't have any, any leaks. And the oxygen sensor goes right in there. That's all underneath. And that's the money right there. That's it. All right. So we got, uh, we got fuel. We got fuel. We, we got, got throttle bodies. We got throttle bodies. We got power. We got power. We should. All right. We should be good to go here. All right. Let's crank this baby over. All right. All right. So we got that Fitex six pack all buttoned up. I gotta say, it feels great to get back behind the wheel of this car. Now let's see what she can do. Driving it around, it it definitely feels like it's healthier. Car had a, a brand new restored engine, and what it, what was a brand new carburetor, but was that carburetor tuned perfectly? I don't know. Um, but with this EFI system and the computer uh, tuning that they did, the car should be running perfectly now. And it definitely seems like very smooth cruising. Um, it seems like it responds as soon as you want the car to go. The gas is there. Um, and like they mentioned, you know, we, we did the, the in-tank fuel pump. That's pushing gas to the front of the engine and dumping it into those, uh, those three ports. So we're getting a lot more gasoline when we need it. And I can feel that just from from a start, and then once you get into it, it definitely feels like it's got a lot there, so. Woo! And we should be getting great fuel economy, if you're worried about that. Um, so, you know, maybe instead of 10 miles a gallon, 12 miles a gallon, we might get 13, 14 whole miles a gallon. That might be an exaggeration, I'm not really sure. We might be getting eight. Um, it's not really something we're all that worried about, I guess, here at restaurants. But we like the power, I like reliability. I mean, in a classic car, that's what we're all about, is being able to get in it, start it up, drive it where you need to go and not have problems. With classic cars, that is always something that you are, um, put the camera down real fast. <laughs> Sorry, there was a cop posted up, he was looking. I think he was just admiring the car. Car drives really well. Um, reliability is a huge factor with a fuel, um, with a fuel injected car compared to the carburetor. We talked with Bryce and you know he was saying one of the biggest issues to a car performing is having that carburetor tuned correctly. So we take all of that out, all of the uh, room for error, and those throttle bodies are all computer managed. 
so we should have none of those issues. Um, yeah, so they did mention that the computers in these throttle bodies and their system is continually learning as you're driving the car. Uh, it's gonna optimize for performance. It's gonna optimize for fuel efficiency. Um, and those are things just a carburetor doesn't do. You, you know, you put your carburetor on, you tune the thing, and it is the way it is. Uh, and this thing is now a true resto mod. You know, it's got computer managed uh, gas delivery and we got a six pack on our 440, which is you know, the way it should be. Mods fans, you just watched our third part of our Phytech build. This thing now has a six pack Phytech EFI on it. Blown away with the way it looks, the way it responds. So thank you to those guys for all of their hard work and their contribution to your car. And if you're as excited as we are, make sure you do not miss your chance to get your hands on these keys to this 69 Dodge Charger. Bytech EFI equipped six pack 440 Magnum. Wow, that's a lot. But you can win it. This can be your car. Get your chance. Join the Resto Mods Car Club. You're going to get 10 entries every month that you're a member. Or swing on over to restomods.com. Get one entry for every dollar you spend on official Resto Mods gear. Jeremy, thank you again. Uh, you and the guys at Phytech killed this thing. We're very proud to have your products on this car and excited to give this thing away to lucky winners. Yeah, thank you for letting us be a part of your build. Absolutely. Look forward to another one. All right. Cool. Five more handshakes. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut gallery.